Well, Dr. Dan Prince and I have known each other for quite some years. We did, uh, we did a sessions in South Africa, actually, uh, amongst other countries around cybersecurity and, and teaching. And we've stayed in touch over quite a long period of time. For me personally, I think this has come around because we have seen a paucity of knowledge in the boards for quite some time. And it's been a real frustration of uh, the National Cyber Security Center and others that boards just didn't seem to understand or grasp the importance of cyber security. And what was really missing was long-term board education. So a study at Durham University showed that the persistence of learning around cybersecurity is only about six weeks. So if I was to take your really bad LinkedIn page or Facebook page, uh, and I told you how to, how to do all the proper security settings, unless that's reinforced, actually, within, within six weeks, you'll be redoing all the bad habits. But with the board, it's far more important. They've got to make decisions around uh, the, their whole organizations, how much risk they wish to take, and they need to understand it. And so consequently, I was really looking for an idea about how we could do some long-term education for a board, which would be of a level seven standard, educational standard, which would resonate and which people would want to sign up to. So I contacted the National Cybersecurity Center and said, who is the best university at the moment at cybersecurity? And Lancaster was floated immediately, no hesitation. Not Manchester, not Oxford, but Lancaster. And I thought, that's handy, I know somebody at Lancaster. So uh, we, uh, I phoned up Dan, we started to have a conversation, and we talked about various, uh, various things, and about supporting us in Morocco, uh, which is one of our center of excellences we're looking at, and uh, Panama as well, as it happens. We're starting to move that forward, but we really wanted to do something here in the UK. Uh, and he actually was the first one to suggest, well, how about, how about the sort of a master's, but a challenge master's? And what makes this so different is that while we have the academics there, uh, quite rightly talking about the academic science of cybersecurity, we'll have my team there as well, the majority of which are working across all critical national infrastructures on live issues and problems, to actually say, well, you, do you know what, when we were helping Shell, uh, we, we thought about that's absolutely right from an academic perspective, but actually the reality this worked better due to international law. Uh, or examples like that. And what that actually then does is for the individuals who are receiving this course, it's almost like a two-year mentoring program for them because they can bring live problems that they have to the safety of an executive cyber MBA, talk to those people who are teaching on it, get their advice and then take it back to their organization. So the whole view is to make uh, the UK PLC far more cyber resilient and actually ensure that we reconnect boards with their organizations around the cybersecurity agenda. Well, I think uh, people who have come to this event have really obviously liked the idea. I've been very fortunate that uh, a, num well, a large number of the collaborators here, those who have spoken, taken part in panels, are also uh, Templar people. And uh, they come from every single uh, immanageable critical national infrastructure. So we've had maritime, we've had banks, we've had the NHS. You, you name it, and they've come here. And they're super excited because they are, all of them are, are, are people who are names in those particular critical national infrastructures. They're well-known. They're well-known cyber leaders. But actually, you always get to a stage in your life, especially when you get quite senior, that you feel about what's the next generation going to do? How can we, how can we give some of this back? And how do we ensure that our knowledge and all those scars that you get from being on a, on a board dealing with a myriad of different types of attacks, inside a threat, advanced persistent threat, state, state action, and you've got all that knowledge, how do we actually transfer that to the next generation coming up so that we, we can pass it on so they don't make the same mistakes that, that we do? So I was responsible for our national strategy for many years, and my first national strategy was all just about computers. In 2007, the government was just worried about computers. Do we have enough computers? And a few computer operators. And of course, now the current one is so much more about people, processes, and culture. That journey has taken us 13 years to get to a, a national strategy which really reflects what's required. So we don't want anybody else to go through that journey. So we want them to be able to say, we can give that history to explain the reason why it's evolved to this point, but then we can teach them the later stuff with that background knowledge that they actually know why they're here and they, they can take that knowledge and move forward with confidence that it's been tried and tested in the crucible of other critical national infrastructures and other people struggling with some really difficult decisions. 
I think the only thing I'd like to say is uh, the, the cyber executive MBA uh, obviously needs to work. And therefore, uh, for those people who view me talking about it, please consider sending one of your C-suite or somebody who's about to move into a position where they are responsible for the cybersecurity agenda on this course and to contact Lancaster University or Templar to learn about it. We would ex especially look at CISOs, senior CISOs, because they need a career path to go to the board. And at the moment, very few boards around the country in any of the critical national infrastructures have CISOs on the board. So it, we feel it's really important for their career path because, because there's an MBA attached, a Masters in a, a Business Administration, it will give them a fair chance in selection to actually become board members, but also take with them all that cyber expertise as well.